Hey guys, uh, this is Powercad. Um, if you saw my last video, I've uh, I uploaded again for the first time in years. Uh, you saw what I look like, so I don't think it's uh, much of a surprise now. Uh, anyway, I know I said I'd upload once a day, but things have been crazy. Uh, it was the end of summer. I had uh, finished like three big assignments at once, a history one, a reading one, and a math one, and uh, I finished them all in a week, and then I went up to New Jersey for a little bit, do some fishing, uh, hanging out with my family members who live up there. Uh, and, uh, the thing is that I wanted to, uh, uh, I know I said I'd upload, yeah, I said I'd upload once a day, uh, yeah, but after that, I, um, uh, after I got back, I had to, you know, go to, you know, I saw, I had to get to school and all that, and, uh, and I've been really busy with that, because there was a big schedule mix-up, so, like, I ended up in JROTC, and, uh, which is, uh, for those who don't know, like, junior army training, and uh, although I enjoyed it, uh, my, uh, Obviously, my family members didn't want me to do it, and I, uh, and so I, uh, replaced that, and I also had to fix my art class and some other stuff, because I got put in, like, a beginner art class, even though I did last year, so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I thought I'd just make a video, because, uh, for those who watch my videos still, because I'm a failure, and, <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, uh, I got, um, I thought I'd make a video just on my updated, uh, menagerie, if that's what you want to call it, uh, so, um, the thing is that I, um, uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news, okay? Uh, the bad news is that, uh, if you saw my last video, remember I showed you, uh, my paludarium, the half aquarium, half, t uh, terrarium thing, had two creatures in it, a lep a small leopard frog and a, uh, and a tree frog. Well, um, the bad news is that, uh, while I was up in New Jersey, uh, I asked some people I knew to, uh, look after them and I left them, uh, instructions for how to look after everything. Uh, I put in feeders, like, like feeders for the fish, so they didn't have to do anything with that, but, uh, they did a really good job, actually, like, everything went fine until one of the last days I was gone, uh, where, uh, the, the screen thing I put on top of the aquarium, uh, it was, uh, uh, not, I, I forgot to mention to them to put a weight on it, like, I put a, I can't remember what it was, but I put something on it to hold it down, but I forgot to mention that in my, uh, written instructions for them. So unfortunately, the tree frog got out and uh, he dried up, which is really sad. Uh, they didn't discover him till like uh, a few hours after he'd gotten out, and so he's uh, fortunately he's not with us anymore, which is really sad. Uh, but um, the good news is is that uh, everything else has been uh, going well, and you might be excited to know that I've really updated the paludarium. Uh, I've added plants to it. I'll show you in a second. Uh, my fit uh, my aquarium everyone's still doing fine uh, and uh, the exciting news is that I got I uh, purchased a tadpole today at a Congressional Aquarium Inc in Rockville which is this really great aquarium store I consider this my endorsement for it uh, yeah it's in uh, uh, I go up the rock on it's on the Rockville Pike uh, in Maryland uh, it's in uh, the Congressional Plaza uh, yeah if you're really into uh, keeping fish and reptiles and all that go to this store it's expensive but it's really good quality, like, you can buy, maybe I'll go there and I'll make a video about it, and, uh, it's really, um, uh, I really recommend it, uh, they don't mistreat their animals, all the animals are well taken care of, so, and I, uh, purchased a tadpole from them today, and, uh, my plan is I'm going to, uh, keep him in an aquarium, in the, uh, it's complicated, um, anyway, I think I'll, uh, show you some of my, uh, the updates on everything now, uh, okay, I'll talk to you, I'll see I'll um, show them to you. Yep. Okay, so first off, I, uh, I've, uh, obviously the Paldarum, uh, looks much better now since I added the plants, and, uh, I mean, I had that one, but I also added this one, this one, and this one. Uh, there's also that water plant, which had already been in there. Uh, I added another plant that was supposed to be here, which was much smaller, but it quickly fell apart because nothing attached the bottom, so now they're a little different little bits of it are planted throughout the tank and this one replaced it and I think it looks much better looks much more natural I fixed up the fountain finally uh you notice there's a big hole here just because I uh, have been actually uh, had a chance to patch that up yet I'm going to use silicone to put more new moss on it uh everything's going fine underwater although there's no living creatures under there uh the other frog he's doing fine the leopard frog uh, you can kind of see him right there he's kind of hiding right now He's, I know everyone says that he's, uh, that, like, when people make these pet videos, they'll always leave comments like, it's way too small and all that, but it's kind of ironic. I have this 
10 gallon paludarium setup and uh and i've got this little less than an inch long frog in it and he's the only uh living creature in it so yeah he's got this whole thing to himself uh in fact uh so um although i do intend to uh put a now that the tree frog sadly gone i'm going to uh put in a i'm going to i'm thinking uh fire belly toes now before you type in that comment section like uh, something like, oh, they can't live together. Uh, actually, if you did that, that'd be really nice. Just don't be rude about it. Uh, you can leave me all the hate comments you want, but, uh, like, this one. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, please, uh, yeah, so if you know they can't live together, you can leave me that message. But, uh, I'm gonna do some more research. So far, I haven't really found anything that says they can't live together. Uh, so, yeah, the Paldarum looks a million times better now, except for that hole, which I will fix soon. We'll update you on that later. Uh, yep, here are the crickets. This cricket can do anything. Uh, yeah, so that's that. So the uh, aquarium, the aquarium is also, uh, everything's going fine, nothing's really changed, except I put a larger plant in, and I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, yep, the whole gang's here, three goldfish, which, are, which were like half as big when I first got them. Like that one right there was like, only like a quarter of that size. They were all tiny. I got them in the feeder fish section. It's kind of like uh, I had raised, I had kept fish in years, so it was kind of warm me back up again. And I also purchased four minnows, which all died quickly because they don't live long. Uh, but yeah, now they've grown, so it looks like I'm gonna be keeping them for a while. Although if I ever, I hope to create my own indoor uh, pond soon because you know this thing here is just gonna have to go. It's just gathering dust and just becoming a thing. I keep. All this random stuff on uh, so yeah I'll, have to, I'll get rid of the table and I'm hoping I can put a I'm gonna try and make an indoor pond down there uh, it's big it will be a big project but it'll work and then maybe I'll add these guys to it some other goldfish just because I want to keep different fish I was planning to keep different fish in this it was just a warm-up but uh, yeah but they're all doing fine there's also the albino Cory he's right there he's doing great he's grown a bit snail the plecto and the loaches, which you can't really see because they bury themselves in the rocks, only come out at night. They're all doing fine. Yep, no, no problems so far. But what's exciting is that over here, this is where I moved the original plant because I was originally planning to raise a tadpole in here, but which I purchased today. But I now see that after doing some more research, I now see that he's actually. Uh, I don't think you. I know what you're thinking. I need to put a lamp. I have a heater and a plant and everything, but. Yeah, I think he'd be much happier in my aquarium, so I'm going to move him to it uh, right now, actually. So, you know, uh, I don't know what I'll do with this yet, considering that's what I originally bought it for, but I'm going to try and set that up right now. So, uh, yeah, he there he is in there. He's going to be moved to his new home. Uh, let me get my net. Okay. Okay, here's the net. I'm just going to take him out of there and move him to my uh, to the aquarium. Come on, little baby. Come on. Yeah, this is a, this is a really uh, bad place to keep him, I see. So he's going to be moved. I don't, I, he wasn't in here too long. Don't worry, there I go, I got it. Okay, let's just drop him in there. There he goes. Now, uh, if you got any constructive criticism, uh, just tell me, okay, just don't be rude about it. Uh, Please don't leave comments like uh, this one. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's see how he's, he looks fine right now. Uh, I read in uh, some places that they can actually live with goldfish, so he's gonna be living in there. There's a filter and I'll, and I'll move the heater which was in there to it, and hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, so yeah, um, okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.